You might have seen our video about the worst mountain bike advice we've ever heard. Well, we're gonna flip that on its head and here's some of the best mountain bike advice we've ever heard. First one, this makes sense hopefully, is look after your bike and then hopefully it's gonna look after you. Uh, I was always told when I was growing up that a clean bike is a seen bike. Basically means that if you clean it, you've looked at it, you've also given it a quick check over by uh, sight as well. Also keeping your drivetrain nice and clean and lube will make it last longer, saving you money. But one of the big ones for me is making your bike or keeping your bike looking nice and good, spraying it up with some silicon shine, makes it look almost like new. It's also gonna help you when it comes to selling your bike, keeping some of its value, hopefully. This next tip will help you see the trail in a whole different light. Follow a faster rider down the trail to see their line choice, braking points, and where they're pumping and gaining speed. You'll find yourself riding faster to keep up with them. And if they drop you at first, ask them to dial it back a bit and soon you'll find yourself sticking to their back wheel. Trying to look further ahead down the trail, I think is one of the best pieces of advice ever for mountain bike skills. It really makes a difference to how smooth and how well you ride the bike. And really, if I ever feel like I'm uh, riding bad on a trail, it's probably because I haven't ridden very much and I'm looking sort of six or eight foot in front of my front wheel and I'm making mistakes or going offline. So when you really start opening your sort of chest up, looking further down the trail around corners, I find it really helps my flow and helps me ride faster straight away. When wheeling in or manual in, try your best to keep your arms straight. If they're straight out like that, it means you haven't done any pulling on either side. And that's especially important when it comes to manuals. If you're pulling the bars up into the air, it's really easy to get it wonky. The weight starts going off either side. So concentrate on keeping your arms straight in wheelies and manuals. I think one of the best pieces of advice for beginner riders is learning how to unweight the bike. And that comes from learning the bunny hop basically and then just using that on the trail so that you can then start opening up the trail, riding over things that previously, if you couldn't unweight the bike, you'd hit these things like these slippy routes and either slide off and crash completely, or even if you don't do that, every little bump you hit just slows you down loads and loads. So it's key for making trails rideable that are really technical. You can open the trail up, ride over bits that aren't necessarily rideable, but also really make trails much faster. And I think before you can really unweight your bike properly, you're kind of driving your bike everywhere. You need to drive the bike to the smooth bit of trail that's rideable. So you start unweighting, hopping over things, you really advance your riding level to mastering those trails properly. This is a good piece of advice, I think, when it comes to trying out something big or something with consequences the first time, something like a new jump, a drop off, or even a rock roll. I think if you roll up this obstacle three times and you back out, then just give it a rest that day. Come back when you're feeling a bit better or you've practiced a bit more before you then have a go at it. Also, I think a really good piece of advice for something like this is if you can visualize what's gonna happen Personally, I feel much more comfortable about trying a jump or something that's a bit intimidating. If I, if I walk at this thing or I roll in at it and I look at it and think, I don't really know what's gonna happen, then there's much more chance of it going wrong. But if I can look at it and think, well, I'll come in at sort of this amount of speed, give it a bit of a pump, bit of a preload, I'm just much more confident about clearing that obstacle. Also, I think this is a bit of sort of sports psychology that can help with it, obstacles like this, but also with racing. I've always heard this one, it's a good piece of advice, I think is think about what you want to happen because it's really easy to think about what could go wrong. If you're sat at the start line of a race thinking about, oh, I don't want to mess that corner up or I don't want to crash there. 
it puts in the wrong frame of mind. Same with jumps. You think, well, I, what I want to do is do a cool jump, land up on that piece of dirt up there. You're in just a positive frame of mind. I really think that can help you out. Uh, now, by off staying off the brakes, I don't mean sending it down your favourite black run without any brakes, but I do mean sometimes getting off the brakes is really going to help you out, even though it could be like the scariest thing to do. But in rougher sections, if you're dragging the brakes, it can stop your suspension working as well, and you're not going to get as much traction. Also, in steep sections, steep corners like we've got here where there's not much traction in the first place, if you're dragging your brakes, you're basically asking your tyres to slow down and turn at the same time, so you're not going to get the traction. And definitely in situations like this, at some point you've got to commit and try and get off that front brake at least to give that front tyre the most uh, chance of gripping and getting you through that section. Of course, this can be quite intimidating if you're not used to doing this, and especially you kind of need it as instinct so that if you're sending it down something like this and you are starting to slide, then you have to sort of rely on that instinct to come off the brakes. Otherwise, by the time you thought about it, you're probably gonna crash anyway. As soon as you learn to stay off the brakes and unweight the bike, as I mentioned earlier, you'll find yourself flying through trails that you got bogged down previously. All right, there's what I think is some of the best advice I've ever heard when it comes to riding a mountain bike, but also some that I reckon I've learned. So hopefully you've learned a bit from them as well. Uh, check out that worst mountain bike advice video as well. If you haven't already, some funny ones in there. And leave us some comments down below. Let us know what you can advise other mountain bikers and I'll give them a read as well. Thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.